Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. Welcome back to Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. This is Strength of a Woman. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorite segments of the week because I get to meet uh, people who are doing amazing stuff and interact with them and learn a lot from them. My Strength of a Woman of the day uh, is only 19 years old and she has a movement an environmental conservation movement. She's passionate about conserving the environment and she is here with us to share her story. Karibu sana. Asante. Anita Sonia. Your camera is number four. <laughs> Your, you can list any other thing that I left out of the intro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Anita Soina, as you just said, mm -hmm. I'm a student at Multimedia University mm -hmm. pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in PR and Corporate Communication. I'm a third year, mm -hmm. I'm an inspirational speaker, mm -hmm. I'm an online marketer, mm -hmm. and most importantly, an environmental warrior, mm -hmm. a green warrior. All right, a green warrior. Yeah. All right, I like that. I just saw the mic steady at the, at the center. All right, uh, you're studying corporate communication, mm, but you are passionate about the environment. How did you end up in corporate communication first? I think because uh, I talk too much, mm -hmm. and then I'm it doesn't also seem like it though. Yeah, I talk too much, mm -hmm. and I also um, I think I just love a lot of online stuff, uh -huh. and and that is the only field that I could go, I could get and, into. And 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 exercise this. Yeah. Exercise your your passion for being online yeah. and just seeing the. All right. So uh, when did this uh, passion for conserving the environment or this uh, fight for the environment start because you're a warrior first you can say you know passion is something that's always there mm -hmm. but i discovered it uh, after my high school mm -hmm. when i was just there i didn't have anything to do mm -hmm. so i enrolled for a mentorship mm -hmm. under a certain organization called spice without borders mm -hmm. where the founder is my mentor mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's, that is when I noticed I had passion for environment conservation. And then I even remembered back in high school when I was a scout. You know, mm -hmm. scouting is all about fun keys mm -hmm. and all that. But yes, that me, is the reason most of most of them, not most of us, most of them joined the scout. Yes, yeah. so, but for me, I also like taking care of the trees that we planted in school and all that. And then also growing up in a family where my grandfather valued trees so much. Mm -hmm. he, he had a small natural forest that mm -hmm. people destroyed it after he passed on. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of they wanted firewood and everything else without planting the trees, mm -hmm. without reforestating the place. This was painful. Yeah, that was so painful. And mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, that's when I noticed, no, I, I think I know where my love is. All right. Yeah. This natural forest that was brought down by uh, villagers or the people who live around mm -hmm. where your grandfather was living, uh, did you see the direct effects of cutting down this forest that you saw growing up? Yeah, mm -hmm. and up to date, I, I, I still can say I've seen the effects because it's not only th uh, my grandfather's forest that was destroyed, but the trees along the stream that was there because we have a stream down mm -hmm. there. So all the trees al along the stream, you can't see trees like we used to mm -hmm. long time ago. And we have the stream drying up mm -hmm. and everything else. So I think that's uh, another effect. All right. Yeah. So already the stream is drying up because yeah. the trees were brought down. Yeah. Uh, the, the landscape has changed because the trees were brought down yeah. and everything. This is one of the reasons you joined uh, this movement uh, to push or fight for the environment. Yeah. And also because I think if I don't do it, nobody else will do it. In the fact that I know many people are in the field of conservation, but you see the way you're doing things here, nobody can do it the way you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think if I, if I stop doing it, nobody will do what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. Yeah. So uh, talking about uh, trees and the environment, uh, the, the, the knowledge and the science behind it is... It's complex. It's complicated. Uh, talking about uh, the, 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 the poles. Yeah. We're talking about the oceans. We're talking about the lakes. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the air. Uh, the, what, is, what exists in the air. Or the... Or the what, how, how can I put this? Uh, the, the elements that exist around us, the, there's so much science that goes into it. Do you take your time to understand this or uh, how do you go about your, your, your fight for the environment? 
first, you know, the, the tough language of conservation mm -hmm. scares away many people. Mm -hmm. So I really try hard to understand it. Mm -hmm. And maybe when, when posting something on my social media, I break it down. Mm -hmm. You'll never find me posting something long, mm -hmm. something hard. People won't understand mm -hmm. what is mit mitigation, adaptation, whatever. <laughs> Even we, we, we went for All a right. conference and a certain friend of mine was telling me what is mitigation, what is adaptation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a common term used in conservation. It's mm -hmm. not... It's not a hard term as uh -huh. such, but you know, m not everyone understands. Uh -huh. So I try so much to understand the simple language. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, you try to understand it and then yeah, convert it to a simple to language. simple language, yeah. Uh -huh. So again, not being an environmental science student or a science student, I really find it difficult. Mm -hmm. Like when I want to go out and plant trees, which tree does well in this area? Mm -hmm. Which tree doesn't do well in this area? Mm -hmm. Why am I buying this tree? Mm -hmm. You know. So I get uh, knowledge from my friends who have studied the same course. Mm -hmm. I even have international friends doing masters on environmental science. I really ask a lot mm -hmm. from them. All right. I like. Uh, so trees, uh, maybe you can share the importance of, of trees to the people who are watching right now. People, some people, maybe they don't care or they just say, ah, to hell with this. What do I need trees for? I live in a flat. I go to work in the CBD. I come back home. What do I need trees for? I use gas to cook. I use electricity. Maybe you can just highlight some of the importance, uh, some of the importances of growing trees. Oh, simple. Mm -hmm. First, it purifies our air, mm -hmm. attracts that rain. That is the most important one. Yeah, that's the, the most one. important one. Mm -hmm. Then it's also, it also attracts rain. Mm -hmm. Firewood is important. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you this. Uh, I was discussing this with a friend about the importance of using firewood in over gas. Mm -hmm. Long time ago, we had our old grandmas and everyone living long because they used to use firewood and everything else. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about milk. Mm -hmm. When boiling milk using gas, mm -hmm. gas will just let the milk rise, mm -hmm. rise, rise and rise again. But the milk doesn't get uh, well cooked compared mm -hmm. to compared to, when it comes to firewood. firewood. It That's why you'll hear people having some some infections. problems, some infections uh -huh. because they drank milk and then they thought they boiled it over and over again. Mm -hmm. But you can't compare gas to firewood. All right, so the cooking the process heat, is different. The heat that firewood gives is strong compared to gas that is uh, that gas is one is of the things fast uh, that is just one of the things so firewood is very important very it's important. very important to cook some of our foods uh, with firewood uh, directly it's also very important <coughs> uh, that trees purify our hair our air sorry yeah. <laughs> yeah. Air, sorry yeah. uh, especially in the cities uh, like nairobi you can compare uh -huh. downtown and uptown where we have trees uh -huh. what happens Yes, I, I choke a lot yeah. uh, down there. And the other side, uh, it's, it's very, very conducive. But yeah, that's why there's a difference between someone who lives somewhere in Lemuru, somewhere down there in Karen, mm -hmm. and someone who just lives in an apartment. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. A the around health, town or something, uh, yeah. The health difference. is going to be, the health status is definitely yeah, going to be different. Yeah. All right, uh, you have a project, uh, 20 Trees for Anita Sonia. Yeah. All right. What is it about? Okay, so this project is about the birthday campaigns mm -hmm. that I'm so cl uh, hey, oh, I'm so glad that uh -huh. many people. No problem, no problem. <laughs> this is a free space. Many, and many people are picking it up. They plant uh -huh. your age campaigns, the birthday trees for birthdays, and all that. So I uh, this year I thought it differently because I planted 19 trees mm -hmm. this year early January mm -hmm. to celebrate my 19th birthday. Mm -hmm. And this year I thought it differently. Like, uh -huh. why instead of waiting till 24th December to plant 20 trees at my home, mm -hmm. why can't I just do this with other people who love my work? Mm -hmm. So the first project, we did it at Kario Bangi mm -hmm. Outreach Children's Home, mm -hmm. together with the Guardian Angel Foundation, which they are the people who organized it for me. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I have this is, uh, I want people to invite me to their homes, mm -hmm. invite me to your church, invite me to your school. Let's plant 20 trees mm -hmm. for my birthday All because... Right. You know, one day when you're all gone, someone will say, I know Anita, you know, mm -hmm. I once bought her chocolates for her birthday. But mm -hmm. yeah, I ate the chocolates and so what? Uh -huh. At least say we planted we don't these the trees. Chocolate anymore. I don't have the chocolates and I didn't go with them. So at least uh -huh. say we planted these trees together and for we her 20th birthday. And we can birthday. see it. Exactly. What is the criteria? How are you growing these trees? Along the roadside, along the roads or in people's compounds or in public places? What is the criteria of picking a place where you guys are going to grow these trees? 
whichever the place, as mm -hmm. long as the tree can grow. But I consider, as long as the tree can yeah, grow. Exactly. I consider homes, people's uh -huh. homes, even if it's your own home, mm -hmm. we can still do that. Church, institution, mm -hmm. anywhere else where it's easy to to get you know we also need a place to grow the trees mm -hmm. we, we have a lot we of need. restrictions that you can't yeah. plant trees maybe along the road you can't do this uh -huh. so we have to do it where where it's not that hard where for allowed. us yeah and you have to go through all these things uh with the with the county government and everything yeah that's a long process that's what i'm doing it with people in their homes no uh -huh. <laughs> and then uh, churches, not in public places yeah, ch churches and school i've done it in uh, schools we mm -hmm. have done it in kisumu national polytechnic that was our biggest mm -hmm. achievement i can mm -hmm. say as a team yeah mm -hmm. The trees That's are still alive, the trees are growing. Yeah, we even, we even get uh, messages and calls from the people. They're like, hi, mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, about 98% tree survival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So the survival rate right now is at 98%. At the Kisumu National Polytechnic, mm -hmm. where we planted over 1,500 trees. Wow. Yeah. I like. Wonderful. So schools, homes, churches, churches. and uh, just Chavis. social places. Yeah. So far, I like this. What are you doing about the forest that was cut down around your grandfather's area? Yeah, that's what I'm planning. I really want to get my relatives because you know, mm -hmm. uh, I want to start with the people around me. Mm -hmm. So, before I get my team and take them to my home, mm -hmm. yet I have relatives who can turn up and do the same. So, I'm thinking of convincing them. I hope it's going, it's not going to be hard for me. I hope they're watching right now. Just look at them straight into the eyes and I tell really hope them it's family. not going to be hard for and me. And the because people of that particular yeah, area. I want us to do an, to reforest the place uh -huh. and plant more indigenous trees now uh -huh. in this case here. Yeah. I like. What is your take on uh, trees, growing trees as a cash crop? Uh, it's the thing that is affecting us actually, mm -hmm. uh, because we have seen a lot of these mitimbao, blue mm -hmm. gums, and the rest. Mm -hmm. um, because those are the trees that give money. Mm -hmm. You can't tell someone to plant indigenous trees for money mm -hmm. because indigenous trees take time to grow. Mm -hmm. Indigenous trees don't don't have value a, mm -hmm. as um, blue gums and the mm -hmm. rest. So it's I don't uh, let people do business in other fields, mm -hmm. please. But no, with please, wood. please, please, just do business in other places, not in the environment. I really hate. I hate blue gums, uh -huh. not because they are bad. They're also trees, but you know they they dry up areas. All right, because yeah, they suck up a lot of water. A lot of water, from exactly. The soil. Yeah, so it's really important if we just try and fell blue gums uh -huh. like the people in Kisi are doing. Uh -huh. The people in Kericho are it also started the same uh -huh. so i would really like if people do that uh -huh. and do business elsewhere do business elsewhere elsewhere let's not we uh, have play oil. around uh, do it there <laughs> if you have oil do, do it there it. Exactly. if you can cook do it there yeah. let's not Fashion, play games just do it there uh, don't let's yeah. not play games with yeah. our environment yeah. all right uh, when it comes to uh, issues of environment the people who are affected the most are the younger generation because they are the people who will have to live with the effects of uh, what the older generation are doing uh, to make money as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, is, is there a program where you incorporating the people who are younger than you to join in the movement? So we, we are working with a number of partners like mm -hmm. the Team Environment Kenya in the Greening Schools program, which is a very, very important program. Mm -hmm. That is uh, creating awareness among his kids mm -hmm. and other people. And also what I really try a lot is now about my age, mm -hmm. live alone younger than me, because the scientists said that uh, we have 11 years for climate change to become irreversible. Mm -hmm. 11 years time, I'll be 30. Mm -hmm. So nobody can convince me that, you know what, it's not going to affect you, it's going to affect someone younger than mm -hmm. you. It's affecting me mm -hmm. as well. So to people my age, I normally tell them that as much as you love fashion, you love music, mm -hmm. you can't do that. You, you can't do that in vacuum. Mm -hmm. It's only in the environment. So you yes. have to conserve. We need this Whether you right like here. it or not, uh -huh. Unless you lose your, your passion, you also lose your passion for music, you uh -huh. lose everything. So there's nothing we can do uh, whatsoever, music yeah. to fashion you to can't politics do it in without vacuum. Yeah. this environment that we have with yeah. us. All right, I like the young people are joining in the movement of environmental conservation. And uh, we highlighted uh, the story of uh, the daughter of Wangari Madai, the one Wangari Madai. What does, uh, how, uh, how does Wangari Madai impact your your life and your goal and your vision what 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 role does she play in all this 
Wangari Mathai is an inspiration mm -hmm. to almost every person in conservation. Mm -hmm. If you ask them, they'll say Wangari Mathai mm -hmm. because she really fought hard. Mm -hmm. When I go to Karura Forest, I just imagine what if Wangari Mathai didn't, uh, had not fought for this forest. Mm -hmm. you know? Wangari Mathai was a fighter that despite all the challenges, she fought and stood hard for the environment. Mm -hmm. Another thing I like about Wangari Mathai is that before people knew her, she was conserving. Mm -hmm. She she didn't do it before for the fame. Yeah, she didn't do it for fame and everything else. So that's what I like I like about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but when people tell me our oh, Wangari Madai, yeah, it's nice, but I don't like it when people call me Wangari Madai. Uh -huh. I haven't done as much as she has done. Uh -huh. I may not do as much as she did. Uh -huh. She was never me. Uh -huh. You see. Uh -huh. So I'm just following her footsteps. You're just following her yeah. footsteps. You don't want the comparison. Yeah, you don't no, want no. the pressure. But I uh, know the comparison is as bad. Mm -hmm. But hi, Wangari Mada. I know I'm not Wangari Mada. I'm just an Ita. So you know, I'm me. Mm -hmm. I can't be someone else's photocopy. Mm -hmm. And I also say Wangari Mada did a lot that I really pray had that I also get to where mm -hmm. to where she got. All right. Yeah. But it's work in progress for sure. Yeah. But from Wangari Mada, we learn one thing, and I always tell people in conservation. If we don't work together, we are lying to ourselves because mm -hmm. we are all working for, towards a common goal. So the competition, because let me tell you, to be sincere, nobody will tell you. Mm -hmm. In conservation industry or in conservation field, mm -hmm. people compete so much like who, who is next to the UN environment or who was with NEMA yesterday or who mm -hmm. was, and then people don't like partnering. But and what, they post them yeah, on social yeah, media. And what I'll tell people, mm -hmm. partnership is everything. Like they say, partnership for the goals, SDG 17. Mm -hmm. If we don't work together, then we are lying to ourselves. We mm -hmm. must remember that it's for a common goal. All right. So from Wangari Madai learned that don't do that for fame. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. If it's you want fame, try it elsewhere. Goal. Music, okay. fashion, elsewhere. <laughs> like Yo, I just said, don't do business in conservation. <laughs> what did music and fashion ever no, do to you? It's what I have in mind. Okay, uh -huh. business and other <laughs> All right, things. Business and other things. <laughs> yeah. But it's never for the fame. Yeah, and the people the who are fame. trying to compete in this industry for donor fans and everything, mm. they're in the wrong place and they're doing it for the wrong things. Yeah. For but sure. I, uh, I really wish that as you compete, let us see the the impact. The impact. If the impact is okay, good. We, we you have guys no can problem. compete. Yeah. No, no, the I can't <laughs> compete myself. <laughs> the end justifies the means. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, we are the UN summit and uh, for environmental conservation. Don't say. I applied it and I got a very frustrating email. Like, you got a really frustrating yes. email, but there's always a next, next time. time. And you're only 19, and so you have, uh, you have some time. Uh, on your plate, yeah. but we had this, and this was going on. First, uh, do you, what did you think about the summit itself? Uh, the Watch summit it is from YouTube or the periphery. Let me say the summit is quite well, uh -huh. but as my one of my friends says, <coughs> speeches do nothing. <laughs> I'll also echo her: speeches uh -huh. do nothing. Uh -huh. Speeches do work if only you are working. Mm -hmm. You see, but from the climate summit, I learned a lot from. One girl who really inspires me, Greta. Mm -hmm. Because if you check on our social media pages, what, what's happening now is people are like, people now, uh, even one of the biggest people in the world mm -hmm. is really abusing this young girl for mm -hmm. doing what she's doing. Someone says, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an environmentalist, I, but I don't believe in climate change. Mm -hmm. What's that? And it then comes out, comes out to talk uh -huh. bad about the young girl who's really trying her best. Mm -hmm. At her age, Greta doesn't read speeches. Mm -hmm. At her age, mm -hmm. she gets it from the mind. Meaning she knows what she's doing. She's she knows not what she's coached. Doing she she's has not been coached by anyone. Uh -huh. That's her. She so knows what she's doing and she knows what she's talking about. Exactly. So All right, we really for need to people to get her. to understand what we are talking about right now, let's get a clip uh, of Greta addressing the UN summit. Then we'll be back with some more of this. My message is that we'll be watching you. <laughs> this is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. 
We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. You say you hear us and that you understand the urgency. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that. Because if you really understood the situation and still kept on failing to act, then you would be evil, and that I refuse to believe. The popular idea of cutting our emissions in half in 10 years only gives us a 50% chance of staying below 1.5 degrees and the risk of setting off irreversible chain reactions beyond human control. 50% may be acceptable to you, but those numbers do not include tipping points, most feedback loops, additional warming hidden by toxic air pollution or the aspects of equity and climate justice. They also rely on my generation sucking hundreds of billions of tons of your CO2 out of the air with technologies that barely exist. So a 50% risk is simply not acceptable to us, we who have to live with the consequences. To have a 67% chance of staying below a 1.5 degrees of global temperature rise, the best odds given by the IPCC, the world had 420 gigatons of CO2 left to emit back on January 1st, 2018. Today that figure is already down to less than 350 gigatons. How dare you pretend that this can be sold with just business as usual and some technical solutions? With today's emissions levels, that remaining CO2 budget will be entirely gone within less than eight and a half years. There will not be any solutions or plans presented in line with these figures here today because these numbers are too uncomfortable and you are still not mature enough to tell it like it is. You are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Yes, the last statement is very strong. We will never forgive you. Is the environment worth all that darkness? Yeah. Never forgive. Because nature also never forgives. Nature never forgives exactly, as well. Exactly, yeah. So Greta is channeling that energy right there. All right, people have chosen to talk about uh, uh, history with mental health issues yeah. and everything. But I choose uh, to looks, focus. People, people, people start uh, talking bad about her and saying her, she has eye problem. People don't listen to what she's saying. Yes, I choose to talk about what she's talking exactly. about. Exactly. And the also facts that she's brought to the table. Yeah. And the fact that the, the, the effects of what we're doing today, uh, they're going to be the people who are going to hurt the most. Exactly. Because what we do today is going to hurt tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, tomorrow we might not be there. The, 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 the previous generation uh, <coughs> is the generation that is going to be there. So mm. I choose to focus on what she was talking about. And... Uh, the points are, people have been talking, 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 UN Summit uh, this year, UN Summit next year, UN Summit the other year, but nothing much has really been happening. Yeah. Oh, I also say, uh, before we even look at the leaders, we who are joining Greta in the streets, mm -hmm. did you see the number of people who are in the streets for the climate strike? Yes, and they're very young people. As you support Greta on the street, support what she's fighting for. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which so is? at least if it's avoiding single-use plastic, 
start by yourself mm -hmm. don't go to the street to support greater just because you want to be on the street to bash out the government I like that. what I are you doing at your own what are you doing at your own personal level yes and some of them are even in the streets with plastic plaques Exactly. Yes, and demonstrating with plastic plaques. Someone so has a plastic your water bottle uh -huh. and you have a placard written refuse single use plastic. Uh -huh. Nonsense. It doesn't make sense. Exactly. Don't go to the streets. So until when you go, you when you go to support Greta, mm -hmm. please support what she is fighting for. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are you a Greta supporter? Yeah, I support Greta and I support what she is fighting for. Mm -hmm. Our leaders are not doing much. All right. Speeches. Speeches, speeches, waiting for World Environment Day, for 15 people to, to surround one tree mm -hmm. and call it a day. Fift one tree in 15 social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So we all think 15 trees were planted. Mm -hmm. Never. Nothing. Thank you very much for, for coming and thank you very much for sharing what you're doing. Uh, when, is, when and where is your next project and how can people join the movement? Your camera is number four. So about my next project, currently I can't say we have one, but we have a, a partnership with a... Team Environment Kenya, and mm -hmm. we are going to Embu tomorrow all mm -hmm. the way to to Sunday for the Greening mm -hmm. Schools program. Mm -hmm. And then my next 20 trees for Anita Soina mm -hmm. uh, event might be in Nairobi training, TTI, Nairobi Teachers Training Institution. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And to join our movement, just check us on social media, especially on Instagram and Facebook, Spice Warriors. And we have some like process on how to be a fully registered member, mm -hmm. but we don't have qualifications like you need to have this, you need to have this. For someone to conserve the environment, <laughs> we just need you uh -huh. and that's all. All we need is you. Yeah. We don't need any qualifications no. uh, for you to be able to conserve the environment. Yeah. Your social media handles uh, so that they can interact with you as well. My social media handles, Twitter, Anita Soina, Instagram, Anita underscore Soina, mm -hmm. Facebook, Anita Soina, LinkedIn, Anita Soina, and on YouTube, Anita Soina. Then What's on YouTube? Yes, I'm on Your YouTube. Your project? Yeah, my project. Uh -huh. You then document them and put them on YouTube? I just post a few videos on my inspirational side uh -huh. and then also on a few ways to conserve the environment and all that and then we also have the spice warriors youtube where we now have most of our activities all right thank you very much Anita Sena, for coming through we appreciate you keep pushing keep doing what you're doing and i hope you make it to the next u.n summit so you can represent i hope so too. Uh, your views <laughs> as well all right yes we've come to the end of strength of a woman we had anita soina uh, who is an environmental uh, conservation warrior that is the right term right green there. Green warrior. <laughs> All right, a green warrior in the studio with us. If you know somebody, uh, who, a queen in particular, who's doing amazing stuff as well, send their information our way on our social media handles. They're right there below the screen so we can highlight their story. Girl Stock is coming up next. Don't go nowhere. Don't type that down.